Hey everybody, this is Pure Red Sniper X here on uh, Minecraft. Playing a little bit of Minecraft with my friends, so actually not really. Nobody's even on on my server for some reason. So everybody's offline right now. But <coughs> sadly, we had to reset our server again. But uh, it's not going to happen anymore in the future because I didn't feel like getting any of the plugins back. That's not why I reset. I just didn't feel like trying to run Bucket again because Bucket keeps on, uh, like, it keeps on making me have to reset my server because it keeps corrupting my world file for some reason. If anybody's got any info on that, please send me a message so I can get Bucket back. But right now we are running on no plugins and we are letting in minimal people. Your application really, really has to be good in order to get into our server. But we did start getting back to work on our uh, railroad tracks and some other things, you know. Just some simple things. I tried to make a video about this yesterday, but when I recorded it, my headset wasn't working right and it, it uh, negated, I guess you could call it, it neglected, I don't know. My voice didn't come up on the microphone. So, there's a lot, a lot of stuff that's been going on. SoFly's been messing with stuff and destroying stuff and throwing lava everywhere because he's retarded, mentally challenged. I mean, I'm sorry. He's mentally challenged. Uh, I gave him the ability to spawn uh, items so he could start working on his railroad track. But he started using the items and for different things and abusing his power. <coughs> Like, let's see if this over here is still here. Show you one thing he did with lava, which, I mean, this thing isn't really that bad, but in random places above ground, he just threw little random lava fields. I mean, I didn't ask for that. I didn't tell him to do that or anything. I guess it's gone, but there was something over here before. He spawned snow, so he can make a snow house that he doesn't even live in. It's just here. Or if he does live in, I'm going to burn it down later, but no offense to him, and I'm not a griefer. It's just not supposed to be here. It's just kind of here for show right now. Either that, and instead of burning it down, I would just kick him out. But So, we don't have monsters on right now. It's pretty much a, just a, uh, a free build server without spawnable items and stuff like that. This is SoFi right here, all these little holes. This is all SoFi. Which I don't really mind that, but it's just kind of annoying when you're walking through here and you just see all these random holes everywhere. Now, in my server, I started up a new thing called guilds. Obviously, everybody's heard of a guild before. It's pretty much the same as a clan, and a clan is a bunch of people who get together and fight together and stuff and just have fun and stuff. Currently we only have two people but my server is not very active right now so we don't, we can't really get any more people this, unless I wanted SoFi in here which I mean I don't really want them in here and there's a couple other people I could get in but they probably wouldn't want to join like Nary and a couple others, Dragoon but so um yeah, that's that. And the reason there's water up here in the top of my tower is because it was storming earlier and I was afraid that one of the lightning bolts was going to burn down my tower or something, so I had to throw some water up there real fast. Let's go down here. <sighs> okay. And here is our mines, which somebody found some stuff for our our uh, guild and threw it in that chest which is kind of weird because he's not even in the guild I haven't even offered it to him or anything he just kind of threw everything he found in there I think he went uh, he, he went into our mines and found it but I don't know it doesn't really bug me it doesn't really matter that much so like this is uh, what happens when you want to make a city or something you just branch off of the main minecart tracks which eventually you'll stop and you'll re reach a, a railroad station like one of these. You know, once you reach this you 
It, this is the station. It's just a block. It's all you get. Um, if you want to decorate it any, you can. It's all up to you. But all we do is create the platform and the railroad tracks. So that was so fly right there, that giant statue. Which I don't like it at all. It's kind of annoying. And I don't have my uh, editor tools to get rid of it either. Or else I would. That was probably so fly. That little boat down there. Mm, what else can I talk about? Oh yeah, um, I was watching some of Peabat's videos. I'll leave a, a link to his video in the description if I have time. But I was watching some of Peabat's videos on ter Terraria. Terraria. I, don't, I, I can't pronounce it right. But um, it looks like a really cool game. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, it looks kind of like Minecraft in a way, but it's not really that comparable to Minecraft due to its extensive gameplay c mechanics and stuff. Like it has, it actually has guns, uh, but you start out, you start out uh, at a spawn point with an axe and a pickaxe, and what you're supposed to do is it starts out pretty much like Minecraft. You get your uh, axe and your pickaxe, and you go out and find a tree. And then you chop down the tree, and you gather up the wood that falls from the tree. Then your next step would be to create a workbench, or a work area, or something like that. Now, if you've never heard of ter uh, Terraria, or you haven't heard of Peabat, Peabat uh, seems like he's a pretty cool guy. I uh, haven't really had a chance to talk to him or anything like that, but he seems pretty cool. So you should go check out his videos. Um, check out his Terraria... Terraria... I, I still can't say that. I'll just call it Game T or something. I don't know. But check out his gameplay videos on that game. Uh, it just starts with a T. Um, let's see. What else is there to talk about? Oh, yeah. As I was saying about the game, the game looks really cool because you actually have mana in the game and magic. You can get magical items and stuff that can do different things. Like on his latest episode, episode 20 of his Terraria playthrough, or maybe it was 19, one of them he got a a uh, staff that spawned something called a vile thorn. Now, what the vile thorn, vile thorn does, it's like a damage over time element in an RPG. Like, uh, if you were using like fire and somebody was standing in the fire, they would get hurt over time. They would burn slowly. Or if it was a stupid game, they'd instantly die. But so, um, it's like a damage over time weapon. And what you, what it does is you shoot it, and it it does a lot of damage over one second. So like. Let's say I shot it at something that was standing still, and he, the thing was just sitting there through the whole thing, and uh, it stays there for about eh, a couple of seconds, two seconds or so, but it would do it do damage like uh, like how many animals are over there burning, but it would do damage faster than those animals are burning, like it'd just be like tick 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 tick, I don't know. But the ticks, as I was saying, tick, that's how my, that's the damage that would be done. And then the number would vary depending on the monster or whatever it is. So, like, uh, what, what he was doing is he was shooting it at these things that were in a corrupted area. And corruption's like the evil thing. It's kind of like the nether on here. But he was shooting it at a corrupted area. And... Uh, there's enemies in there, and it was just doing four damage over, like, it would do four damage times ten over the matter of a second, so it would do 40 damage in one second to one monster. So he was shooting it, and it's like an area of effect, so he would shoot it, and it would do, so there's three monsters, it did 120 damage to all three of those monsters. 
Um, sorry that took me so long to explain, but so, uh, this is the main city on our server. And we got our mines over here. There's one entrance. There's like a hole somewhere around here. Here it is. Another entrance with ladders. Now, you guys know how on Minecraft they had the ladder glitch where you could place a ladder every block like this. You place a ladder every block and you could still go up. They fixed it. Now you can't go all the way up to the top of the ladder. See, I can't even grab on that high. I gotta... See. You have to have one every single block now or else it won't work. Which ruins all of the uh, water ladders or whatever they are. I, I don't know what they're called. Oh, you see all those roses? That was probably so fly. Just saying. Um, so yeah, this Terraria, Terraria, I, I, I still can't pronounce it. This Terraria game looks like it would be really fun, and I just can't wait till it comes out. I can't stop thinking about it. can't really stop talking about it. Um, there's only a couple people who are actually, uh, I actually testing and playing the game right now. And one of which is Peabat, which he's just an, an, a let's play type of person. He makes let's play videos of Terraria. And he was specially requested by, um, by Blue and Regit, Regit, uh, I think that's a Regit, I don't know so sorry about not being able to say or spell his name right but he was specially requested by blue and that guy regit about playing the game and making a commentary on the game because those are the game creators so they wanted him to make a commentary about uh, the game and get it a little more publicized before the game actually came out so um, yeah, he's like the only guy who's doing Let's Plays on it, so you should really look him up. I'll set a couple of, send a link in the description to his first episode and his last episode that of the date when this video is posted up. And I will see you guys next time on my Minecraft server. Thank you for watching.